everybody, MagusX here, the Volatile Gamer, and today I'm going to show you a full installation for Minecraft Ticket, including the server and the texture pack that goes along with it. So without further ado, let's just get started. So um, what we're going to do here is I'm going to make this very uh, short and to the point. So if you're computer savvy or have a little bit of background on this stuff, then you're going to be good to go. So here's what you're going to do. I'm going to add these links in the description. Right now I'm using the links that I have in my already existing already existing full installation uh, video here. Now this video goes quite a bit more into detail on all these little parts so if you need that extra information feel free to check that out as well. I'll add the link. So here we go. We're gonna start with Technique Launcher. I'm gonna open all these up at the same time. Good old multitasking. We got Java, we got the Texture Pack, we have Hamachi, and we have WinRAR because you will need that as well if you don't have it. So, just a little note, before you even start with the Technique Launcher, you're going to have to have Java installed. So, uh, I have no problem helping you guys out, but just please do make sure that you have Java installed first. So, we'll, we'll start with that. Um, here we go. We got Windows Offline 32-bit. Everybody will need that, no matter what. And if you have four or more gigabytes of RAM, that means you're running a 64-bit operating system, then you could also grab the 64-bit as well. You're going to grab both if you have a 64-bit operating system. Both is good. So that's that. Now we could actually go here into the Technique Launcher. We're going to go right to Technique Launcher. Open up that page. Go ahead and download that, TechniqueLauncher.exe. And while you're here, go to Tekic. If you plan on running a server for this, that is. Uh, just scroll down a little bit, 3.0.4. Click here. That's going to download it right away. So that's good. That's everything you need there. We got the Java. Now here's the texture pack. This shouldn't take long, so if you don't need it, just uh, sit tight. Um, here we go. We have two choices, really. We have a 64-bit, and we have a 128-bit. One, the 128-bit is just slightly better looking. So I'm going to go with the 128-bit, but if you want the... If, if for whatever reason that doesn't run very well with you, and you, what you can do, try jumping down to the 64-bit. It's the exact same process uh, for installing. So here we go. We click on Download Technic SMP 3.0.3, 128-bit. I'm going to grab that. It's going to open up this link here. Go ahead and grab that. We can close and go back. Now you're also going to go to download Pure BD Craft. That's going to open up a new window for you. And if you got the 64-bit, uh, then make sure you grab the 64-bit or 128, same thing. Now, the funny part is, we're actually playing Minecraft 1.2.5, but for whatever reason, you got to get the one that's for Minecraft 1.3. So here it is, uh, you know, Sfax Pure BD Craft 128-bit for Minecraft 1.2, ah, 1.2.3, sorry. Uh, I guess we'll wait five seconds. Once again, if you're trying for the 68-bit, then you would just get the 68-bit uh, for 1.3 right here, which does work. I've tried that as well, so it does work. And here we go. We can skip the ad. Silly ad fly. Let that download. So that's good. That's everything you need for the texture pack. Now we also need Hamachi. So here's the website. You click on the uh, little checkbox for conditions of use. Download now. It's the on-managed version, by the way. So that's good as well. And, oh, well, look at that. RAR Labs is giving me a hard time again. Anyways, the link's going to be in the video. Uh, just go ahead and grab that and uh, download it real easy, and then you'll be fine. So let's start to get this installed. Um, first things first, like I said, you want to install your Javas first. After that, you're going to want to make sure you have your uh, WinRAR, or zipping file, whatever it will be. And then after that, we could actually do the Technique Launcher, Hamachi, and the Texture Packs. So I'm going to go ahead and get all that installed, and I'll be right back with ya. All right. I have Java 32 and 64-bit installed, and I have the WinRAR installed as well. So let's start by cooking up that Texture Pack. We have two different files for this, the SMP and just the actual pure BD craft. Um, so let's put those over here. Try not to confuse it with your Tekic server, is it, by the way? You wouldn't want to do that. So we're going to open both of them up. Let's slap it over to the side. And we'll slap this one over to the other side. Now what you're going to do, you're going to take the files from the one that has the SMP in the title. So if you're not sure, that's the one that has alt, armor, block image, code chicken, so on in the folders. You're just going to click and drag don't select the double dots though you don't need that and just click and drag again to put it in the other one now the other one is the one that has the uh, Sfax Pure BD Craft 128X for MC13 that's the one you're putting them in 
So click OK, let that happen. Then you could close both. Now at this point, you could actually delete the SMP one. You don't need that, but you do need to keep the one with the MC13 in it. So let's just keep that there for later. Uh, you could also install the Hamachi. So I already got that installed. It's really simple. Next, 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 whatever you got to do. And get that going. And as well, we could also install this. I'm going to save the server for last, though. So let's go ahead and get this Technique Launcher started. So I'm going to give you a quick little tip. If it doesn't run, disable your antivirus and or your firewalls. Uh, that could cause many of issues. So go ahead and click that. Now there's quite a few issues that can come with this, I've noticed. Sometimes, yeah, you get something like this. You click OK, it goes away. We'll try it one more time. And if it doesn't work, this is what you're going to do. So it doesn't want to work. Here's what you're going to do. This is the workaround for rather Windows XP, 7, or Vista. Just press your Windows key and R. Alternatively, you could just go right here in, if you have a Vista or 7. But this works for XP as well. You're going to type in... Uh, oh, well, look at that. It started anyways. But nonetheless, I'm going to show you this. So you're just going to type in percentage app data percentage. Hopefully you could see that there. You're going to click OK. I'm going to go right into the technique launcher, dot technique launcher, and then at this point you can click this one. There we are. So that's going to get going. It takes a few seconds. Now hopefully that works for you. If it doesn't work, I'm going to make a video right after this on errors and fixes for this. So let's see what we can do here. So you have a couple options. Um, you can, of course, select which mod you want to do. This is for TechX, so I'm just going to go ahead with TechX. You're going to enter your, of course, this here, your username. And by the way, I believe you do have to have a premium account. Well, I know you have to have a premium account for this, what we're doing here, but the, maybe there's a cracked version out there somewhere, as I'm not sure. So let's just put in the password. I like to remember. Um, the options in here are nice. You could uh, you could set how much memory you want to allocate, by the way, or you could get older versions as well. So right now I'm going to stick with what it is. It's always use recommended builds and a retry after connection timeouts there too. So just keep that there. Tekic, tekic, tekic. Log in. It's going to start downloading. You may also encounter some download issues at this point. If you do, it's usually the antivirus or the firewall. Make sure that's disabled. Every antivirus is a little bit different, so unfortunately I can't show you exactly how to do that. Um, I could show you for this version of McAfee what I had to do is I came here and I click on Firewall. I went to Settings, and it said Turn Off, so I turned it off. If you have AVG, I know you could right-click. Let's pretend that's AVG. There's going to be a button like Disable for a certain amount of time. Actually, I could tell you exactly what it says. Let me just look at my other computer. Uh, yeah, temporarily disable AVV protection, and it'll give you a drop-down menu where you can select how long. Ten minutes should be enough, unless you're running, like, dinosaur dial-up or something. So here we go. we got Tekic running up here. We're going to put in that texture pack as well. So um, there's a couple ways you could do the texture pack. If you still have your dot .technique launcher open from when I mentioned that, you could just click on Tekic, go to texture packs, drag it in but I'm going to show you the, the other way here, which would be just like any other texture pack, actually. So you just click texture pack, open texture pack folder, which is the same folder we were just looking at, and drag her in. Now, I'm not actually going to click to activate it right now, just because it does take a little bit of time. So if it looks like uh, your Minecraft is crashing, don't worry about it. Just give it like even five minutes sometimes it could take, depending on the speed of your computer. So just let that run. Now, Tekic server, let's get this going. We're going to make a new folder, right on the desktop, I guess, but you can put it wherever you want. Doesn't matter what you call it, so I'm going to call it... We're going to open up that folder, and bring in your zip. Doesn't really matter if you do, do that there, but... Alright, so here we go. We're going to drag all the contents of the zip right into the folder. After that's done, um, it's up to you. If you want to keep the zip file in this, it makes no difference. I would recommend it in case you ever need, need it again. You have it right there. But if you wanted to, you could just literally delete it. Okay, now at this point, we're going to click on the launch button. Doo -doo -doo. It should be called launch.bat if you have your file extension shown, so just in case. 
Now, if you have some errors at this point, I already have a video up for it. Uh, basically, it's little errors that you're going to encounter in the edit. And just for the sake of time, I'll add a link to that in the video, probably add an annotation somewhere on the screen right now. You can check that out if you have some issues. So that's that, that's that, and that's that. Uh, as far as getting your stuff running for the server, that's going to be based off your Hamachi. So, do we have that? Yeah. Now, part three of my full installation guide on this does completely go over Hamachi for both you and what your friend's going to have to do. So, I'll add a link here as well. Boom. There it is. And uh, you can go ahead and check that out as well, just for the sake of time. It goes quite a bit into the detail. I actually have a side-by-side -side, uh, for you and your friend. So, it, it, it should help. So, that is everything. Let's, for fun, just go in here. We'll create a new world and say, call it... Woohoo! I got deck. Let's load her up. All right. So uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope this helped you all. If you have any problems at all, there's a couple things you could do. You could one, you could comment on this video. I'm gonna check uh, all my video comments periodically, so I'll get back to you for support as soon as possible. Uh, two, you could check out my other videos because a lot of the problems that you could have have already been covered, rather in the video or in the comments, where I actually replied to people having these issues. Um, that's pretty much it, but if you do have an issue that I didn't cover, please do actually let me know and I'll help you as soon as possible. Uh, my goal here is to set up a video for every single problem you could have so we all the people in the world could enjoy and play Minecraft and tech it as much as we do. So, like if this was helpful, and if it wasn't this, if it wasn't helpful, you could even dislike. I, I, all the input is awesome for me. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. This has been Magus X, the Volatile Gamer, and we'll see you next time. Peace out. Oh yeah, P.S. One thing, if you load up a game and you notice you can't see anything, don't ask me why it does this, but go into uh, Escape, Options, Video Settings, and change this horrific render distance to anything else. It's set to like negative 32 by default. Uh, yeah. Now we can see what the hell's going on. Awesome. Big fat tree. Right on. Once again, rate. Give me a big thumbs up if it was helpful. Comment if you need help. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Peace out. <laughs>